So we have two days worth today, 19 and 20. So we'll start with 19. It was yesterday. Beacon scanner. As your probe drifted down through this area, it released an assortment of beacons and scanners into the water. Okay, this probably is going to be like. The beacon and scanners float motionless in the water. They're designed to maintain their position for long periods of time. Uh, each scanner is capable of detecting all beacons in a large cube centered on the scanner. There is some black space on the left side of the broadcasted video. I can't watch, didn't do it yet. Bye bye. Yeah, this is because my screen is not uh, 16 by 9, so there will be inevitably some black space. <sighs> okay. For example, this scanner is at coordinates blah blah blah. There are beacons and the scanner could report that first beacon is uh, turned to the scanner, but would not detect the second beacon at all. Unfortunately, while each scanner can report the positions of all detected beacons relative to itself, the scanners do not know their own position. You will need to determine the positions of the beacons and scanners yourself. The scanners and beacons map in a single contiguous 3D region. This region can be reconstructed by finding pairs of scanners that have overlapping detection regions, such that there are at least 12 beacons that both scanners detect within the overlap. Oh my God. By establishing 12 common beacons, you can precisely determine where the scanners are relative to each other, allowing you to reconstruct the beacon map one scanner at a time. For a moment, consider only two dimensions. Suppose you have the following scanner reports. Okay. Drawing X increasing rightward angle upward scanners as S and beacons as B scanner zero detects this scanner one detects this. Okay, for this example, some scanners only need three or open beacons and beacons visible by scanners and allowed to produce the following complete map. Unfortunately, there is a second problem: the scanners also don't know their rotation or facial direction. Okay, okay. Okay. Because all coordinates are relative in this example, all observed positions will be expressed relative to scanner 0 using the orientation of scanner 0 as if scanner 0 is coordinate 0, 0, 0. Uh, scanner 0 and 1 have overlapping detection cubes that 12 beacons they both detect relative to scanner 0 as the following coordinates. The same 12 beacons in the same order, but from the perspective of scanner 1 are Blah, 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 because of this, scanner 1 must be at uh, relative to scanner 0. Scanner 4 will up to scanner 1. The 12 beacons they both detect, relative to scanner 0 are the scanner 4 is at blah blah blah. Relative to scanner 0. Following this process, scanner 2 must be at blah blah blah. The whole list of beacons. In total, there are 79 beacons. Assemble the full map. Of beacons, how many beacons are there? And get your puzzle input. Okay, so this sounds brutal. <laughs> okay. This sounds super brutal, unfortunately. Um, huh, diff? No, why is diff? Okay, let's point text. Um, okay, very interesting. We have an example here, right? Day nineteen and 
example. Okay, save. Yeah, this is a super annoying feature of Sublime Text. Even if you remove remove the extension uh, file extension, it still appends it after after you wait. It's fucking crazy. Okay, anyways, uh, we have our problem thing, right? We have. Um, we have rough estimation of what we can do. Yeah, this is this is brutal, but we'll do what we can, right? Let's start with parsing, and while we parse, we might um, zero one. Okay, so we might parse input scholars split input scholar thirty percent, right? Blank. Uh, these are scanners, and for each scanner, we probably want to. Okay, we can use a trick called. Even read string. Okay, so let's let me write let me write different parse scanner as and read string. Sorry, sorry. We're going to put it in in as a vector, and then uh, we are going to. Partition three, right? Okay, looks correct. Uh, for four minus nine, five, five, six. Okay, let's see the last one. Okay, so this is our parse. Um, unfortunately, it was <laughs> real quick, so we don't have anything, um, don't have much else to report. <sighs> okay, so the way I see it is we take one scanner from known scanners, right? So let me write that. Take one from known. Uh, then for each unknown, 
Reach can known or we try too much. Um, hmm. So basically, what we we have to do is we. What we have to do is we need to take we can choose random 12 right so if we take try all players from known Find matching player in unknown. Do I have a standing desk? No, I don't. I used to have it, but then it hurt my backside. Ditched it. Hi, uh, I'm just popping by in to say a lot of closure and so some of streaming it. I have standing desk. <laughs> Hi, laughing, laughing wings. Uh, thank you. Uh, I love closure as well. Uh, try and find matching pair. If we have matching pair, it means we matched two and two. Differentiation matches. We try to to match the rest. Match rest of B of and Dickens from now. Right. So this looks like a very long algorithm. Twenty six so is like twenty six. Each one sees around twenty six, and in the real example. We also see like 26, 28, 25, 27, 27. Um, this is super hard, super hard. And then we need to remember those somehow, right? So like to to write down to match somehow which watch which beacons match what. Well, we can uh, maybe. If we match 12, we just transpose second one into absolute coordinates, right? using the fact that mm, 
uh, not using the fact that they have limited range although we shouldn't be using it Alternative actually would be not to try to take from known and match with unknown. We can just uh, build a super known, <laughs> so called, right? It will probably have less beacons. But yeah. Okay, okay, okay. So let's start writing this down right so probably we'll have scholar sparse input right let's start with known uh, first scanner Let's also use set because, because why not? Um, Okay, so if we figure out everything, so let some matches So if any of uh, from unknown can be matched with known, right? So basically the trick here would be that scanner is unmodified and match is modified, right? And we when some scanner we pull
else I stuck uh, with no no unknown unknown okay yes uh scanner so Okay, yeah, and we don't have matches. Okay, this is fair enough. Definitely matches. Uh, no and scan, right? Or because. Okay. For now, it returns new. Let's see what's going on. Okay, and if you run an example, it throws exception, which is um, fair enough. Which is fair enough for us. Okay, cool. Uh, now, what do we do? What do we do? What do we do? So now we have to figure out. If we match anything, right? Basically, we need first to establish orientation and then see with that orientation how many uh, other beacons can be matched. The problem here is we don't have uh, loops, <laughs> uh, but yeah, who cares about that, right? Um, we can actually do something like that, which is do times known one range count none right so now two starts with now one okay so these are two beacons that we try to establish. Now, what do we need with, with those? We know the distance from first to second, and we figure we need to figure out the on the rotation side, right? Twenty-four. How how do we get twenty-four? 
to figure out possible rotations. So maybe rotations should be matrices. One thing that we can calculate is distance between these two, right? Um, that will give us easy way to filter the two in the second one before we try rotations. Okay, so. known has to be a uh, vector maybe okay so now we have indices for first and second Actually, we don't care about indices, right? Do we? Yeah, probably don't. Maybe we do. Okay, maybe we do. I don't know. Uh, let the the dist equals. Now we can do even simpler, right? Um, I mean, what I want is do times b e one. Um, Beacons. Let B one in B Z. Right, so we choose a beacon from B one, and in our case, as long as we know what might be any of them, um, so we know. Transform. How about Susanna? <laughs> How do you mean? Uh, how is this problem? Easy or hard? Fields. 
Really, it feels really hard so far. Not really hard, but you know. The most tedious of the year. Okay, that's reassuring. Took me ninety minutes. Yeah. Uh, first. Does matter, right? For our case, okay. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to do do six. Sorry. Uh, so K one is no, no. K two is no. Why not equals K one K two, right? Uh, B1 is beacons, B2 is beacons, again they shouldn't be equal probably. Uh, and now we need to figure out if we have a match, right? Uh, let's write uh, this. X, Y, Z, A, B, C. Minus X, A. Right, this is the distance. Am I correct? This is the distance, I think. When um, So we only try if the distance is the same. Um, now we have to try all the possible rotations. And fuck. Or not. Or if we know if the distance is the same. Okay, just for the record, right? So in this case, let's try known matches. Um, it shouldn't be this question mark. Should be match. have zero matches and in this case we need example actually right 
Consider the following report. Because operands of all absolute positions will be expressed out of scan 0. Scanner 0 and 1 have overlapping detection groups that will be considered the detector relative to scanner 0 are at following coordinates. Okay, so we are doing something wrong, right? Already. What? Wait, what? Example is the nineteen example, right? Minus four seven six. Okay, so there is something. Okay, so this match should actually give us something, right? Ah, it's because maybe we didn't close do seek. Ram not equals B one defense, 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 okay, so B one yeah. And it takes about fifteen milliseconds. Okay. That's not reassuring. Something is. Oh, yeah, okay, of course. <laughs> I'm actually not returning anything. I still need to make. Okay, 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 okay. 24 orientations. So if we, so for example, if x is the same and we have y and x mixed, we, have, we can have four, one, two, three, four, right? And then x can be downwards, then we have eight and we have, we can have y. Yeah, I see how we got 24. <laughs> if only I remember how to do matrices. Well, uh, rotation table if you want. Yeah, this is what I was about to do. Kind of. Yeah, 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 yeah. Rotations.
write something from this the so if x matches for example First one would probably be the one where everything matches actually, right? The second one would be well minus y z minus z y and minus y minus z, right? Are those rotations? I hope they are rotations. No, they're not rotations, right? They are, yeah, yeah, five minutes of 90 cents. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, this is this is mirror, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um, so instead of this, and this is mirror, we should be doing like so. Why is the Okay, I will just use your table. What the fuck? Z minus y minus z. Z minus y and minus z y. Right? Minus y minus z. Yeah, kind of. Okay, okay. Copy the rest. <laughs> okay, I don't need those. Everywhere we have minus. this sheet Okay, rotations, yeah. So what do we do with this? So we take rotations. What do we apply first? Do we apply translate and then rotation? I probably translate and rotation, right? <coughs> so B1 would be, let's see, right, 
wait x y z a b c so no we assume that well no yeah yeah translate is certainly minus x a minus y b minus z c right so this is our translate and we also need to like we kind of want minus k1 this is going to be our full transform right minus k1 no 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 minus b1 so b1 must become k1 b1 plus b equals k1 which means d is k1 minus b1 okay. Let D translate K one B one, right? B two prime equals translate B two D. Rot rotations and let b2 two, two primes equals rot b2 prime when uh, equals b2 two, two primes right. Something is not right. So, what if we apply D, D minus K1, B1? What, uh, so B1 prime is going to be. I oh, need plus here actually. <laughs> uh, yeah, I need plus. Logic B1 prime would be B1 plus K1 minus B1. So it should become actually K1, right? So B, B1 equals K1. B2 should be equal to B2, K2. Possibly with rotation. Right. With rotation. Hmm. It should work. This actually should work. But it doesn't for some reason. Okay, let's remove this thingy. Uh, 
b two prime b b two prime b two two primes. Okay. Okay. Hi, hi, middle pathway. Um, okay, there is lots of possibilities. Uh, Six, six, eighteen. So this is current function, right? You make hard to hear, by the way. Um, that might be the case. That might be the case. Unfortunately, there is not much I can do right now. I have a stop for following streams but not for today it actually arrived today but to my home not to the office um fuck. i did something wrong right i should apply rotation first this is a uh, macbook's like built-in microphone and acoustics like this is actually meeting room right but for some reason acoustics is terrible here i don't know why no, not everybody left, so no, we will have to be, stay here. Okay, so we have to apply rotation first, actually. Ha ha. Ha ha. Because rotation only applies to the original beacon, right? So we might even move it up here. Or I don't know, like maybe here. Yeah, maybe here. Would be better ish. Okay, so rotation, 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 rotation. Um, let's say B1 prime is rot B1 and B2 prime is rot B2, right? Then D is going to be minus K1 B1 prime and B2 2 primes would be plus B2 primes D. And we have a match. Yeah, yeah, now it works. Okay, cool. And it's just 133 matches, but. Uh, this is not all actually this is we just we match two like all the possibilities to match two uh, between two okay now the real problem begins right so we match two and we want to see given the same transformation um, how much others are going to be I don't actually need B1 prime yet we can uh, transform is going to be a function that takes minus k1 No, oh, wait, wait, wait. So it's plus percent minus k1 b1 prime. Uh, 
No, yeah, we need real outside, real outside, right? We can actually need, we might need even D. Okay, so this is done. Now uh, we like given this transformation, we need to know how many of second beacons are in the first one, right? Filter. So what we are going to do is filter beacons, right? Um, on the following conditions: x four percent, like known contains x four percent, right? When So what do we return? We return, actually we return Wait, what? We have 132. We only need one, actually. We only need one. And to do this more efficiently, what we are going to do is actually. Okay, so we iterate like this. Just vector cast. Mm. 
yes, yes, 25. Okay, so in our case, we return 25 beacons, uh, which are actually. Okay, 12 are matching, and we can actually check that we get the right 12. 544. Oh, actually, oh yeah, let's print this in here. Right? Let's insert it. Then sort lines, then take this. This is our like what we aim for. It feels like we found the correct. I shouldn't filter here, of course. Okay. Okay. Uh, kind of, kind of works, right? Part one, part one. Example. Um, no. Wow, did it work? Wow. <laughs> so it worked for example, which is something. It took two seconds, but it kind of worked. Yeah, we might need some optimization, right? Fuck. Um, um, an optimization that we might need is what? So we, right now we put everything we found into one huge uh, dump, right? Uh, so we like my, we're trying to match everything with a new beacon. What we might do instead is to keep the beacons that we found separated. And collect them one by one. Okay, this is not going anywhere, right? obviously. And unfortunately, there's no reflection. <laughs> okay, no, this is all right. This is all right. Okay, so for now is going to be like this. one should be scanner here we do kind of the same thing 
let's call it March star known unknown brute force, yeah it is brute force, yes unfortunately, maybe it's wrong but who knows uh, to seek unknown you unknown right when um March no you So what we want to know is and, and. okay so Okay. Yeah, I'm using exceptions because, like, I don't know how to do early return from uh, DUSIC. Like, DUSIC is what we want, uh, but I don't know how to do early. doesn't allow for early return. doesn't allow for return at all, actually. So we can actually replace this with... Um, with um, some reduce or I don't know whatever. No, reduce wouldn't work. Four and problem with four is four might actually calculate more than you need if you take on the first value. So yeah. <sighs> Something is wrong here. Okay, let's see which line exactly, 97, filter known. So known is something different from what we expect here, right? Somehow, why, why, why? In our case, known is just first scanner or some amount of scanners and we use much star much scanner much in this case we use it a sequence um, somehow it's a lazy sequence 
post lexicons. Uh, okay, let's let's do this and then do this. So it was a set, but then it turned into not set. Oh, I think I know because match is not actually a set, right? You don't return set here. Yeah, I think this is the reason. And let's remove print. kind of works even slower. Fuck. Um, so this didn't help. Somehow we need to improve. Just add the progress bar. Yeah, uh, actually, that's what I'm thinking. So, like. We just do print LM connected count non out of Now I see there is, looks like there is infinite loop somewhere, or not, I don't know. Hmm, so we might see an end of it, uh, oh, oh my God. so I, I just want to add uh, a time. Well, I think Profiler is another good idea. Um, But for some reason, dist is kind of first, next, not equal. 
Yeah, and I, I don't know what this empty P2C C to E adapter numbers add long groups add. So what we can do, try to do is actually invent a type for for a point. So now it's a vector and vectors are probably not very efficient. Let me actually run this. So it found the first, it depends probably where did, you, did it found the match. Huh. I also probably doing something wrong. Yeah, probably I'm doing extra work. So, like, say I have five of the five known, five unknown, right? And I go through first, seven, first, second, third, fourth, unknown. Okay, 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 let's see. <laughs> uh, what if we make this a list? Will it be faster? Makes sense. No, right? It is slightly faster. <laughs> it's way faster now. And so I guess the problem is I was doing, I was trying to match the same pairs over and over, and I shouldn't shouldn't have been doing that right if we ever tried two pairs there is no reason for us to try it again okay how do we express that um Okay, let's rewrite it in terms of pairs, right? We have this combinatorix, uh, which I had. Okay, so what I want to check is what will be combination. So let's say what happened. It stop? No. Fuck. It removed. Oh my god. Uh, somehow. Uh, I'm not sure what I did. I assume it's an issue somewhere. Right. 
but I want to see the answer. <laughs> <laughs> I should have done uh, like that. And I can't cancel it. Okay, no. uh, let's see. say like this zero 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 one one two three four. It looks like what we need, right? Um, um, Combs is going to be called Combinations, scanners, two, right? Unknown uh, is going to be empty. Well, known is going to be contained to only first scanners. Okay. So um, well actually what we need is let a b be first columns. Oh well, actually empty columns. Known, do we care about known really or not? Probably not. Right. Oh, we do. No, we don't. We don't. We, don't, we, don't. Uh, we probably need. What we also need is result. And result is going to be just this. Okay. So if there are no combinations, we return count result. Otherwise, we take a b as first com and Oh, well, let's now call them matched and matched A, matched B. If you already matched uh, both, we don't care. Actually, just recur next columns. Match result, right? Otherwise, we are trying to match, we don't need much stuff, really. We're trying to match known B cup and it returns us set of defense. Okay, so if much if the boss are matched if matched the well, we can't we can't do that. We need the absolute cardinals fuck 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 um okay right and we also going to need Balance. 
which is going to be just complicated. Uh, if only B is matched, we actually recover with cons B A cons. Okay, otherwise we bring like known is A always B so match is scanner this is B modified right and scanner is what scanner is I don't know what scanner is match B no, there's no scanner right yeah there's no scanner it's just B modified Okay, so we found modified B. Um, and what we do is, well, first we say next com, right? Okay. So A, A and B are actually indexes. Both of them are not matched. What do we do? Then we postpone with it, right? Yes, I was too smart. <laughs> um, I did even try to do anything. Connect it to out of five.
Okay. Oh, okay, so no, uh, actually we shouldn't throw in this case. In this case we should actually... Um, we tried, it didn't work, right, so we, we actually move it to... Yeah, yeah, I get it. I get it. <laughs> we get infinite loop, right? Some reason like trying two three wouldn't work because three is not matched and like wait what Comps. let's see actually what is Okay, something terrible is going on actually here. Okay, so this is we start. This is where we start, right? We match zero and one. Um, we didn't match zero and two, zero and three, zero and four. One, two, maybe actually. No. Right one two. We tried one three and matched it, right? So it's good here. Then we tried one four and also matched it. Like here. And then we get two three, two four, blah 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 blah. I probably Okay, so this exit condition is wrong, right? So we tried two, three, and the actual thing that got matched. Yeah, yeah, I think, I think I get. This is how it has to be. Yeah, and now we get this, right? Okay, so this is what we do, right? Let's see if it prints something reasonable. 79. Just in case we somehow... Um, 
going to print the result because it feels like we are going to wait for a long time. Okay, we match to 0 and 1. It's a good start. I think. Match 1 and 25. Also a good start, I think. 25 and 19. 25 and 20. Eight. It used to be faster, right? But in this situation, I feel like it must start to get faster somehow. I'm not sure why. But at least we, we know we don't do double double work. Okay. 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 I'm also almost out of juice for my laptop. And I don't think we're going to do the next day today as well. Okay, it started to get faster, right? Wait, what is the left? Why is left changes? Count columns. Oh. This is very strange because Oh yeah, this is because we will restart it, right? Okay, two minutes we are halfway there. It should get faster. Yes, kind of. It should get faster. I think. Three minutes. We march three, three fourths of the task. There is part two as well. Oh, I fucking got. Oh, okay. I'm going to the toilet and hopefully it will be solved when I go back.
Wait, we are not done yet? What the fuck? Okay. That's bad, I think. If both solved, we just kill both. Okay, 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 okay. So it doesn't get faster. Not really. Uh, my my laptop probably discharged because I um, I'm charging my phone. I'm using my phone as a camera, and it probably also charges it. Um, yeah. Okay. Um, so what do we do? What do we do? Uh, first thing is what I think is going to help. Not significantly, but is it even going? He is using records. Okay, so we are going to point, and it's going to be x y z, and all three are going to be longs. Okay. Um, here we are going A, B, and it's going to be a point, this is going to be a point, and here um, This is how you calculate distance, right? And we want this to be also long. Here we want uh, annotated this as point P. Um, and every X in here we are going to replace with this, every Y we are going to replace with this, and every Z we are going to replace with this. Okay. No, no progress. Okay, now plus. Uh, so plus is going to take uh, point A and point B. You can actually pack the whole
Okay, so not equals, QRQ2, uh, decay is distance, beacon, so equals ground 2, equals decay, distance, ground 2. We can actually skip probably this. Yes. I can also write a function called PQ. not sustainable here, okay, let's cancel it. It is not sustainable. Um, let me remove my uh, use my webcam instead. Remove this. it will not die while on stream. But there's no guarantee. <sighs> okay, not Exceptions are probably not very good, but what can you do, right? Network can be cast to point B Q B one B two. I didn't. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, so what I need here to do? Map. Oh, actually, I can just do this. Mm -hmm. This is wrong. Something is not working at all.
here somehow the infinite loop, which means that our algorithm doesn't work. Theory, right? But it doesn't. Why? Okay, this didn't help at all. It's like the same time, exactly. Let's open second graph and see what it has for us. Clear, right? I have no idea what it means and why everything here is empty. Well, it's probably because it is. I don't know. Yeah, so match is dominating everything, right? So match is these functions, and probably because we have this do seeking here, it doesn't know, like, it spends most of its time here. Find the charger. Or go silent. Two, two possibilities. I like your approach. Uh, subtract every beacon scanner A from every beacon scanner B. Count how many unique offsets are there. So you also use rotation, right? If one of set is visible 12 times or more, found the right rotation and the right offset.
What if we just calculate distances like let's call it no match and we call it like this decays is At least sixty six. Now it's slower. Huh. Wait, how many distances are there? So like, if you have 12... What? Yeah, 66, sorry. Now I get ready, get 66. Okay, now it's faster. Let's see if this will be faster. might lead to actually to wrong answer, or slightly wrong, wrong answer. And you're right in the in the sense that we can pre-calculate the, the distances. And then just do set intersection between them. Okay, so it's still stuck in the end, like 
just, just 26 players left and it's still stuck. I guess out of this 26, like everything else matches. But we already got farther than we ever got before. Okay, I'm going to go silent and go to to my charger. I'll continue streaming, but we'll not say anything. Then chat in chat. the wrong screen but not on the wrong okay, studio I hope we are charging and just in case I will disconnect the phone and trust it okay um still have webcam on the upside I have a fully charged phone um, I think I need to go here and to go here yes but it is yeah this is better Okay, um, I have a feeling that it doesn't actually do what it's supposed to do. It makes no progress, right? Activity. Okay, so what do we do? I see, I feel like we, we actually pre-calculate 
right. So we have vehicles and these boxes, right? And this will be. Will be distances, right? Distances are going to be for a b b comes b b comes not for a b b is discover. Obviously, I'm going to need this here. Um, when you have a match, does one sector inherit the other's beacons? No, I, I removed that. I, it, it, it did in the beginning, but then I decided against it. Um, so this one is going to be set intersection distances no B doesn't read really. it. B. Uh, and then it's here. What? Uh, I don't think this is allowed by the problem definition, is it? Yeah, I'm, I'm just going to print uh, what it is doing, I think. Becomes distances, right? Yes, this Fine, so we get the wrong answer. stuck anyways uh, we get the wrong answer but we get it really fast that's that's the good news 
Um, match. So we only operate on beacons here, not distances, right? What five? Five for what? What the fuck? So somehow it steals colors. How could it be scanners? Like in result. It's supposed to have B prime, right? And B prime. This match return. Match return set of beacons, right? You don't understand. So. <gasps> oh, I know why. Uh, first scanners should be like this. Right? Yeah, now it's points, and for points, it's probably all right. 39, so let's see. Mm -hmm. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, there is obviously a loop somewhere. Right, and the loop goes like this. 23, so somehow we got opposites in here. Why well, we shouldn't have Okay, let's see. So here we just drop. Here we move to the end. Here we move, we swap them, right? Um, here we drop. Here we drop. And here we postpone. 
so how come there are two oh no they're not opposite they're not opposite sorry okay uh that makes it easier so we have this side roughly right c322 611 322 611 622 and 32 33 6 so my suspicion would be that we calculate distances slightly wrong Right when I do this, this estimation like this, 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 like this set. It actually shouldn't be a set. It should be frequencies. Should actually calculate how many distances we have. Um, help well unfortunately it didn't help yeah it feels like it has some candidates that could match right Otherwise, we wouldn't see print in here. Or maybe we would have print here. It has some candidates that can match, but they don't. 
and somehow we don't we never move past them right well, apparently this tree could, ma could match 23 22 Three twenty two and thirty three six. Just, yeah, there's three possible candidates that could match. <sighs> and none of them does. None of them does. So maybe we do need to merge everything actually. <sighs> okay, okay, let's rewrite it again. Right. Matched is <coughs> yeah, in this case, matched is just going to be first scanners.
Okay, so the problem with this is We lost distances. So can't match matched and um, Fuck, no, no, no. Um, yeah, yeah. Into beacons matched match. So this R was like kind of scanners. Okay, so if it can match, we match and distances for and beacons, B, beacons. Oh, actually, you know what? We can just. Okay, so this is kind of, this can this can match uh, beacons into beacons matched matched, and basically what we do is we do scanner beacons prime like this, right? work because we do something stupid somewhere so can match a and b and both scanners in our case doesn't work. Can match distances in So assume distances be 
something wrong with distances, right? Distances are calculated like that. Um, okay. Okay, so match this first scanners. Unknown is next scanners. And to unknown count may uh, actually be matched, right? Then scanner is first unknown. Back in the orientation table. <laughs> uh, we'll check it. We'll check. Uh, match matched to the beacon. Yeah, unknown. Yeah, this is a problem, I think. Uh, one for six, okay. Beacons matched. Scanner can be cast to IFN. Scanner. Oh, yeah, because it okay, is. So. Print, but matched left. And doesn't do anything. Dima, if this is a bug, I will be very disappointed. <laughs> um, but it's a good theory, sure. Why doesn't it? Oh, I know why doesn't it print anything. We need to uh, print the line. Okay, it goes away, but slowly. All right. Fucking kidding me.
So you want me to return to previous solution? Okay, let's redo rotation table. <laughs> From the first principles, how we should have done it in the first place. All right. So this is how we do it. I don't know how we do it actually. But the idea is that you have something like this. Something like this, right? Let's make it so small. Okay. okay. Let's make it like this. So this is XYZ, right? So assume X stays. Let's do Actually, do it this way. X, Y, Z. Right. Uh, do artboard from it. 60, for example. So this is our default position, right? Uh, the first four uh, where X stays. So basically, oops, basically Z goes here, Y goes here, right? That means that here is minus Z. Then we rotate one more, which means Y goes here, and minus Z goes here, which means this is minus Y, right? And finally, my minus flag. 
minus z goes here, minus y goes here, which means that z goes in here. Right. So x, y, z, x minus z, y, x, z minus y, and x minus y minus z. This is our first row. All right. Oh, just four left. <laughs> we, we'll see who is faster. Okay, so now we have um, we have minus x. So actually, like if we, for example, we rotate. Uh, over y axis so x goes here y goes z goes here then x goes there z goes here which means uh, we get minus x here and minus uh, z here right do we have y minus z no so it's completely different But okay, this kind of minus x, minus x, minus x. Okay. Um, so if we rotate this way, y goes here, minus z goes here which means it's going to be z in here, right? So if we could rotate one more, we go y here, we go z here, which means there it's going to be minus y. And finally we get uh, z goes in here, which leaves minus z and minus y goes here. So minus x, y, z, minus x, y, wait, what? I don't see such an option. Ah, minus x, y, minus z. Yeah, okay. Minus x, y, minus z, minus x, z, y minus x minus y z and minus x minus z minus y okay so this is checked um, Okay, now we go with y in place of x. Uh, the way it works is we rotate towards ourselves. So x goes here, y goes here, right? Which means minus x here. And then we just start rotating. Okay, so it becomes minus z, minus x, then it becomes normal x minus z. And finally, normal x here, normal z here. Okay, so y minus x z 
this one then y minus z minus x y minus z minus x let's say it's this one y minus z minus x okay then y x minus z this one and y z x is it matches what you said kind of yes i'll just check the rest just in case Uh, so now we do minus y's. Yes. So this is minus y. Okay, so how do we get to minus y? So we rotate over z twice all right so we get minus y here and just normal x here right am i right y goes up x minus x goes one x goes here and y goes yeah feels all right so this is gonna be minus y, uh, x goes here, and minus z goes here, okay? Minus z goes here, minus x goes here, minus y goes here. And finally, uh, z goes here, minus x goes here. Okay, so minus y. Minus y, x, z, correct? minus y minus z x correct minus y minus x z uh, minus uh, everything minus y minus x minus z and minus maybe this should be minus y z minus x okay so this is correct and eight more did it finish? No, I didn't finish. Um, eight more. Okay, now z is instead of x, right? Let's do this. Now z is here. Uh, if z is here, how do we get z? Um, so we rotate over y, for example. So we get minus x here, right? Yes. Um, so this is z, this is y, this is x. This is z. This is minus y, this is normal x. And finally this is z, this is minus y, and this is minus x. Okay. Uh, z, x, z, y minus x, this is first one, z, x, y. Z minus y x. Z minus x minus y. Uh, yes, this little maneuver cost us two hours. You're right. Well, I should have known better than to trust than to trust you. Well, it was helpful. It was helpful. Uh, but I should check things like that, I guess. We would, we would 
you found the bug, right? You you made the bug, you found the bug, like you you. And it's exactly what expected from a programmer, right? So uh, it's it's good that you found. Okay, so minus z. Okay, so we need to start from the right foot, otherwise we might have problems. So how do we get to minus z? We rotate over y, for example, right? So that would be like this. Uh, minus x, y, minus z. Minus z, minus x, minus y. Uh, minus z, minus y, x. Okay, minus z, x, y. Minus z, y, x. This one, minus z, minus x, y, this one. Uh, minus z, minus y, minus x, this one. Okay, um, did it finish? No. Somehow it didn't. But let's see if it improves the performance. Not really, yeah. Okay, let me let me actually stop this. Um, so this will print time. Yes. So print time. Well, I feel like we need to go back to match pairs, actually. Fuck. Uh, did I broke anything in here? Match, can match, distances, don't think so. Don't think so. Let me this. Actually, all is a good in good shape. So let's just rewrite this again. Back to how it was with combinatorics and stuff. Okay, so this is a set of pairs that we want to, to match, yes. Um, match is actually this, scanners is uh, neck, it's just Scanners and uh, we have a result which will have beacons from first scanners. Right, what else do we need? Um, 
What else do we need? Prayers. Yeah, yeah, prayers. Prayers is prayers. Prayers left count prayers. Okay, and matched count matched out of count scholars. Okay, this is our login, right? Uh, empty prayers count result. Yes, yes, count result. Okay, uh, now uh, what do we do? Let a b prayers uh, first prayers. Yes, no, 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 no. Actually, we need to find the way. Uh, fuck. <laughs> We need to find a pair that has first element matched or second element matched. First filter pairs. Um, maybe or. Well, actually, any match percent kind of like this, right? First filter This is a pair that at least one element is matched. This means that both elements are matched. This prayer, uh, if second element. So if it's other ways, gotta go. Good luck. Thank you. Uh, I have to go at 8 a.m. at 8 p.m. as well, but hopefully we'll solve it before then. This is a terrible problem. Very bad. Okay. 
so we try to pair wait no no uh, okay just say a b first pairs if every Record blah blah blah. Cut next pairs. Pair. Right. Um, pair if match B. Record. Cons the A pairs. Okay. okay, finally we have pairs that is matched with A, but is not not matched with B. Let match is actually match match A B. Uh, no, no, uh, and scanners A and scanners B. Right. New match. So if it didn't match, we actually put it to the end. Don't make. So we now have a match, right? So what we do is we record this conj matched B. B is now matched as well. Update scanners at index B. Um, sock beacons match. Right, result into result match and next pair. So this pair dropped. Okay, connect. Control. Wait, it's not start. Started. Connect. Something wrong. Matched scanners pairs. What's wrong? Current time. Current time is minus. Something is wrong here. This is wrong, right? Mm -hmm. um, range count. Okay. Dima. Dima. Six hundred milliseconds. Are you? Okay. Let's see if it's correct answer. <laughs> as far as I know, it might be the wrong answer. So we got it right long ago, but oh my god, oh my god, ah, okay, but uh, this is good, all is good. Um, let's see, yeah. 
still get the answer. So that's good. Okay, this is needed. Uh, this uh, let's leave it. So what we have to do now? Sometimes a good idea to appreciate how just how big the ocean is using a height and distance. How far apart the scanners get in the above example? Scanner two and three are the largest Manhattan distance apart. In total, the pam 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 distance apart. What is the largest Manhattan distance between any two scanners? Fuck. Um, okay, and I have I have fifteen minutes to solve this, right? But we we got stuff kind of set up right. So when we match, we actually do know offset, so we can calculate the coordinate of the second of the each scanner, right? Like here, when we return, we return beacons, but we also can return um, D, right? And D would be distance. No. All we can do is x form zero zero zero. This will be our this will be our origin, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so much. Just to make sure that it still works, it still works. So we kind of need the same um, count result. We can just change this to do like beacons, beacons, origins, right? Just return result. Um, kind of make a function out of it. Uh, this 
is going to be a function from scanners actually. T0 we don't need. Mm -hmm. Three. Okay, this is unfortunate. Okay, so the only place that we need to update is here when we, uh, we take result update beacons into match. Don't have beacons here, right? Okay, and this is going to be called solve. And count okay uh, so okay so and we have some of the beacons and in our case uh, case origins have core here, right, somewhere. Okay, uh, so we were writing a function called mdist, and this is going to be, wait, yes, plus core and minus minus x a x b. Y. Right, so this is MDist. MDist. MD. MDist AB. And reduce max. Right. Uh, 
Okay. Three six three six two one. Yes. And we did it. Okay. Okay. Yeah. This is. Uh, I spent way too much time on this. Uh, way too much time. But with the help from Dima, with uh, like Dima help, and he also didn't help. But in general, he did help. Uh, I'm glad this is over. Let me go to main, bump this number. We're not solving another one today. Screen run, and let's see how every day is. What? Uh, okay, so it's like this. It works. Okay, cool. Let me commit it and we will be leaving this unfortunate problem. It is kind of annoying, kind of annoying, let me to be honest. Team, um, need push. We're still one day behind. Um, I know. Uh, anyways, thanks for watching. Uh, join me for the next one. I hope they will get easier. I hope they will. Thanks. Bye-bye.